My name is Brenda Smith. I'm representing the Nine Mile Run Watershed Association, which is located 702 South Trenton Avenue in Wilkinsburg. Um, Arletta, thank you for the opportunity to offer comments on Alcasan's proposed wet weather plan. As executive director of the Nine Mile Run Watershed Association, my comments are offered from the point of view of our small urban watershed. As you may be aware, the Nine Mile Run stream in Frick Park was the site of the largest and most successful urban stream and wetlands restoration that has taken place anywhere in the United States. That $7.7 .7 million project turned a dangerous and polluted eyesore into a significant regional amenity. However, water quality is not yet adequate, and the restoration work that was done is endangered by every large rain event that occurs in the region. The volume and velocity of stormwater entering the stream is far too high. We also have a significant number of homeowners in our watershed who regularly experience localized flooding and basement backups during severe rain events. And in some parts of our watershed, childhood asthma rates are far, far higher than the national average, and lower income residents who cannot afford air conditioning struggled to keep cool and even to survive during this past summer's extended heat wave. With these realities top of mind, we are extremely concerned that the wet weather plan recommended by Alcasan not only will not bring us into compliance with water quality standards by 2026, but it does nothing to address any of the problems we face in our watershed. Meanwhile, we know that there is an alternative that could help achieve the requirements of the consent decree and would also address all of the local problems I've mentioned while bringing additional benefits to the community. That would be to take the approach of dealing with rain where it falls and keeping it out of the sewer system through the use of green infrastructure. My organization has firsthand experience with the utility of this approach on a residential level, having carried out the largest rain barrel program in the region, installing 1,600 rain barrels on watershed homes over the last eight years. We've also built 25 rain gardens over the last three years, some inside our watershed and some in other parts of Allegheny County. All are functioning as intended, infiltrating rain into the ground and evaporating it into the air rather than sending it into our sewers to add to sewer overflows. We're also currently planting 500 trees in Wilkinsburg with funding from PenVest specifically for the purpose of stormwater management using the highest standards for planting and maintenance. So we know that these technologies are feasible and effective. However, to really address this problem on scale, other green solutions such as green roofs, permeable paving, and large bioswales will be needed and will make a much larger contribution to solving the problem than rain barrels do. We're not kidding ourselves about whether or not rain barrels can solve the problem, but there are many other green technologies. We see that other cities around the country have been implementing these technologies and monitoring them for years, so we know that the data is available to show how this can work. And those cities have saved money on their overall plan to eliminate sewer overflows, thereby placing a smaller burden on ratepayers. We refuse to accept the notion that none of these solutions can work here in our region and that we are therefore consigned to living without the benefits that they could bring. Installing green infrastructure in our watershed on the scale necessary to reduce sewer overflows would also safeguard the stream restoration, as much less stormwater would be rushing into the stream when it rains, and what does reach it would be less polluted. Our watershed residents would no longer be replacing furnaces and water heaters on a regular basis due to basement backups, and the trees and green roofs would be cleaning the air to help lessen the severity of asthma for our children while keeping our communities cooler in the summer relieving the burden on our low-income seniors. We can't afford to move forward with the current plan, so we call on Alcasan to petition the EPA to reopen the consent decree for the express purpose of taking the time to do a real plan for green before we start designing or building gray. Thank you.